Okay, everybody, um, today is my birthday, actually, and today I'm 57 years old, so I thought I'd give everybody a tour of my house. Uh, so, so many people that do YouTube videos give tours of their house. I thought I'd give you a tour of my house. So, um, here's my house. I gotta open up the gate, but I'm gonna come down here just a little bit further and show it to you. So, I'll kind of get a ability to pan around a little bit so you can kind of see what it is. So uh, you can come on in. I'm going to get a, take you in behind the gate here in just a moment. But before I do that, I'm going to let you look around here just a little bit. But before I do that, I want to say one thing. Don't fucking fall for it. I'm so tired of these people doing marketing videos. That's not my house, by the way. I wish it were, but it's not. And if it was, I, wouldn't, I couldn't get it sold fast enough. Because to own, own a house like that, is a bad investment. It's a horrible investment. You know, who would want to own a big fancy house like that when they can own 10 rentals that produce income? So don't fall for this marketing bullshit that people show you their beautiful house or their jet airplane or some sort of thing like that. And uh, you're all enamored, enamored with all their material items that you go out and buy their courses or buy their marketing programs because they're so smart and that's how they got everything and you know, because they did something like that. But anyway, don't do it. I see so many people going, I'm gonna show you my house. And they open up the door and the first thing you see is some, here's another nice looking house, I'll show you this one too. Um, none of which I, I live in, or would wanna live in, but are nice places. Because like I said, it's a bad deal. Bad deal because you don't wanna live in a place that, um, I mean, one of the worst investments you can have is a, a very expensive home, or a very expensive car, or, uh, some item like an airplane of which is going to cost you a fabulous amount of money to own and operate that is never going to give you back a return depreciates at least a home like this will probably appreciate in value but um, the real leverage comes when you can own a lot of places and have income from those places most of the people I know that got a lot of money did it by owning real estate because real estate appreciates in value and it's passive income so Owning real estate's a good idea. Owning a big fancy house, like these people show you in their videos, isn't a good idea. And if they're showing you that, they're showing you how they really are just trying to make you think that they, uh, they're trying to market to you by uh, uh, showing you an expensive item that makes you think that they know what they're doing so that you buy their programs or buy whatever it is they have to offer. And you think, oh wow, I gotta, you know, I gotta buy this guy's program because he's got this big fancy house. Not to mention a lot of people just they, after they uh, make those videos or they rent those houses or they rent those cars and then they make the videos. And then after that, uh, after the video's over with, the car goes back to the place they rented it from. They just rented it just to uh, make the video. Don't fall for that trick. And it's used all the time on the internet right now. You know, people see a video and somebody's got an expensive car or expensive house. And just because they have that, people jump all over their, their materials. You know, which is, I've never, you know, I don't understand it because, like I said, anybody that would make that mistake isn't very, very smart because smart people live in modest houses and then take the money and invest it in other things. And uh, the other thing I've always thought about that too, which is kind of a moral issue, I mean, I drive by people every day looking for money, a handout, looking for a little bit of, and I'm not the kind of guy that says, oh, get a job. I'm the kind of guy that wants to help them out, legitimately, realistically help them out by giving them a few dollars. You know, I try to give everybody that comes up and asks me for money, I try to give them money, um, even if it's only a few dollars, because I obviously don't have money to give, a, you know, lots of money to give. But if I did, I would. That's why I've never, ever um, really, um, you know, understood why people would spend um, extravagant monies on wasteful things for themselves or just to be... Um, to, just to do, you know, things that they didn't need or things that are obviously way over the top rather than give the money to somebody that's in need. And there's enough people in need in the world that the last thing anybody should do is be indulging themselves with such extravagance. Well, for instance, uh, everybody, a person irritates me to no end is Donald Trump. Why would you put gold fixtures on your airplane? I mean, why would you put a gold, whatever he has, you know, gold inlaid on the roof of your uh, your New York apartment. Why would you do that? Why would you spend millions of dollars putting gold 
um, in places nobody cares about. Nobody cares that your ceiling is made of gold. Nobody cares that your fixtures in your airplane are gold. Nobody really cares. I mean, it, it, it's just a wasteful amount of money. Why not do that? Something, you know, construct it with the money. Give it to somebody that needs it. I mean, I see people every day. I see somebody here in my area that's in a wheelchair, and they basically live in their wheelchair. It's a nice area, so that doesn't get cold out at night. But if that person was in a cold climate, their life would be in jeopardy by the way they live. Why not give that person some money? Why would you spend it on anything extravagant? I feel guilty about the small little things I have and not being able to give more to people like that. So anyway, don't fall for the marketing tricks of people with their expensive cars and houses. It's, that's all it is. It's just a marketing trick, a, a marketing ploy, and people fall for it every day. So anyway, I just thought I'd do that video because I thought it was kind of funny. So thanks a lot for watching.